ahead of 2023 general and presidential elections, former Federal Commissioner of Information and South South leader Chief Edwin Clark has said that President Mohamed Buhari's successor should come from the Southeast geopolitical zone of the country. Clark called enjoyed the backing of President General of Ohanese Indubu, Professor George Obiozo, who restated the call for the Igbo to, re, to produce the president in 2023. Clark, however, stressed that the Igbo should be from the southeast and urge Igbo-speaking people from Delta and River State not to aspire for the exalted position but should also back the southeast to achieve it in 2023. Speaking yesterday at his Ashokoro residence, Abuja, when he received the leadership of Ohani Zeindubo and some southeast leaders led by the President General Professor George Obiozo, the elder statesman who, who is the national leader of the Pan Ninja Delta Forum. Pandev said the time has come for Southeast region to produce the president of Nigeria and 2023 is the time. The Ijo leader who called for synergy and sacrifice among the people said that the struggle may not be easy but the region must reach out to other geopolitical zones of the country who and encourage them he also urged the southeast region must put its house in order work in unison and as one indivisible zone clark said the era we have reached now is that we have agreed to work together how do we go on how do we move on i think that is the stage we have reached i don't belong to any political party but i speak my mind the man who brought politics into nigeria was late dr namdi azikwe i knew him when i was 20 years when he visited worry we trekked 20 miles to go and see him some of the problems we are having today in Delta was as a result of the support for Azikwe and without that we would not have got Midwest region that later become Bendel State and now Edo and Delta State. We are together, we are one. We are supporting the Southeast region. Anybody from the Midwest, anybody from Oshimili South and North, Anocha South and North, Ika, Agbo or Ukwani. If you say I'm ready to be the president of Nigeria because I am an Igbo, that is punishable because when you do something that people don't like, it is abominable. I have said it, all the Igbo in Anioma rivers in Delta State, wherever they are, this is the time for Igbo Southeast President. We have the same problem when we met in the 2014 National Conference. We said that the Southeast has five states. They should be given additional states so that everyone will have same state like in other zones, if that will stabilize Nigeria, create them. We want the president coming after Buhari to come from the southeast. We are together. Let me advise if you must fight a war or fighting for anything at all, we must put our house in order. What do we do with other voices that are not in tandem with our voice? We must find a way to see what can be done. They have their point but at the same time they should also listen to us earlier in his remark professor george obiozor restated ohanese 
position that is it is the turn of the southeast zone to produce the president in 2023 insisting the equity unity and national natural justice rather support the clamor he noted that nigeria as a country was in serious agony and pains said that the time has come for the restoration of the dignity of man and national healing the Hwan is a president general who warned against the use of violence and military tactics to address the problem confronting the country said that if the they are used the more factionized the country would be and lead to a synchronized national crisis and if not checked could lead to inevitable disintegration obi also noted that the time has come for the southeast and south south to form a stronger synergy adding that the time when southeast people were used against southeast was over according to obiozo this is not the time for people to claim that they love the south south more than the southeast zone because people can be fooled for a while and not forever he continued today what we need is to synergize synergize among ourselves the day we will do it history will change we all know that we have the same kind of problem honestly you cannot hate one of us and like the unlike the other side for people who tell us that they would like people in south south more than the people in southeast or they will use one against the other the time is over you can you can fool people for some times but not forever what we are facing today is light at the end of a tunnel i don't know who does not believe in one cause we should start doing something to address the problem i urge the federal government to reconsider the use of force i want the government to conspicuously impress the value of justice equity and fairness so that nigeria would face clear ease of unity it is time for the government and people to start the process of healing nigeria is in agony and pains it is time for national healing before the visit of chief ek clark the ohanese leader an interactive session with some notable Igbo sons and daughters in abuja rising from the meeting they taxed all Igbo political actors to engage their parties to ensure that their presidential tickets are zoned to the southeast they also looked at the recent violence incident in Igbo land saying it has become a source of worry and advice the youth to be very vigilant and cautious to avoid being used as sacrificial lamb in the present nigeria circumstances well let's see people's reaction and know their thoughts about this mark michael said honestly this is a fine move from uh honorable Edda edwin clark but at the same time it's too late for ibos why is it too late the question at this time is who are they color who are they collaborating with are they they are more in pdp or apc the ratio is they are few in p in apc and more in pdp so they should concentrate on pdp rather than wasting their time in apc while michael mark is saying it is a very fine move from our uh, able honorable elder edwin clark but at the same time it's too late for the ebos then the question is why is it too late for the ebos said they are few in apc and more in pdp so they should just concentrate on the pdp rather than wasting their time in the apc they should focus on pdp because they 
that's that's where their votes stand well that's michael mark point of view about what Heather has just said let's move further and see what other people have to say about this if i in back way said yes it is too late for Igbo presidency what are they talking about now is not Igbo presidency board biafra freedom anyone that is talking of Igbo presidency now is they dreaming M maybe when the time comes you will understand well, if I is also in line with what Michael Mark said, that it is too late for the Igbo presidency. What they should be talking about now is Biafra freedom. Well, that's their own point of view about um, what Ed, uh, Edwin Clark said, that no Igbo speaking person from Delta, Rivers, should contest for presidency election do let us have your own point of view about what Ed, uh, edwin clark said do subscribe to this channel if you have not we want to know your own point of view do comment on this